my final player of notes, <laughs> and this could be mixed, met with a mixed reaction, and that's fine, is uh, Yusei Kikuchi. So Yusei Kikuchi, the Blue Jays signed him as a free agent for three years. Um, unfortunately, his first year in a Jays uniform overall left a lot to be desired. He was in the rotation for about the first two thirds of the season, or or maybe a little bit more than that, and uh, he had a fairly good month of May, if I recall. Other than that, you just didn't know what to expect from him when he went out onto the mound. And unfortunately, it it was usually more negative than he, it was positive. Ultimately, they felt that uh, they couldn't leave him in there as the fifth starter any longer. He was replaced in the rotation with Mitch White, who they acquired in a trade from the Dodgers at the deadline. Mitch White is a story on his own because, unfortunately, he didn't live up to ex expectations last season anyway with the Jays, but uh, that's a story for another day. So... Kikuchi, he was used out of the bullpen. Initially, we had some mixed results there. His overall numbers in the bullpen were a little bit better than they were in the rotation. Um, toward the end of last season, I thought I saw something in Kikuchi. So there was a stretch of games that started from September 13th, went through the end of the season, and these were all relief pitching appearances. So I know this is a very small sample size. I realize that. Um, but five games, 216 earned run average. 215 weighted on base and average like that's <laughs> that that's just silly <laughs> um 15.1 strikeouts per nine innings 2.2 walks per nine innings like oh, over that stretch it really seemed like kikuchi had found something I think we're going to see a better version of Kikuchi. This man, I mean, we hear about it all the time. The Blue Jays signed him. He has a really good arm. In fact, uh, during one of his starts during the season, I remember the broadcasters saying that uh, of, of the pitchers in the rotation for the Toronto Blue Jays, um, he actually had the... <coughs> fastest average fastball, if you can believe that. So he is capable of having success in Major League Baseball. He was an all-star with the Seattle Mariners in 2021, had an excellent first half, really fell off in the second half. Um, I was thinking, I've been thinking that maybe Kikuchi could end up being a leverage relief pitcher, almost like an Andrew Miller type, um, and, and that's still possible. Uh, before I went on the air, I actually saw a couple of tweets by uh, Shai Davidi, and what he had to say was... Um, Apparently, Mitch White, he started throwing back in early January, and he experienced a right shoulder impingement. So that being the case, he is a little bit behind in workload ramp up. And uh, where everyone's been saying that, well, the battle for the fifth starter spot will be between Kikuchi and White, this could put White a little bit behind the eight ball in that regard. Meanwhile, John Schneider, as quoted by Shai Davidi, um, apparently loves what he sees from Yusei Kikuchi so far in camp, and I don't think he means the beard that he grew. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently Kikuchi has made small tweaks in his arm path. He's been working on that and some other things in the off season, and uh, and apparently the early results seem to be really positive. So. I don't know whether he's going to end up being the fifth starter all season. If he is, then great. Or if he ends up in the in the bullpen as a leverage relief pitcher. But I think Yusei Kikuchi is going to, going to redeem himself with the Blue Jays in 2023. I think he's has, going to have a good season, make a positive contribution to the team, and uh, hopefully be one of the reasons that uh, that they, they not only make the playoffs, but make it past the first round. And, and see how far they can go.